Hi everyone. Let's try to understand gameplay analysis 4. We have already solved gameplay analysis 1, 2 and 3. You can look into the uh, playlist or and look and you can look into the answer of all those questions. Let's try to uh, understand this particular question that is the gameplay analysis 4. Here we are having one table which is the activity table. It do consist of four columns player id device id event date and game played here uh, player id and device id uh, the value of this particular two columns will combine be the the primary key of this part uh, this table and here we need to uh, write one sql query let me just read it aloud write an sql query to report the fraction of player that logged in again on the day after the day they first logged in rounded to two decimal place so we need to find let's suppose uh, some user logged in today and if some uh, the same user logged in tomorrow then that particular user will be considered so and we need to find that how many fraction of player that logged in uh, uh, from, uh, from to the next date from the first uh, date so it's very simple question what we need to do Firstly, we need to we need to focus on the minimum date, right? Then we need to find. Then we need to uh, we need to focus on the next uh, the date which is next to the minimum date. So we can uh, we can solve this problem. So let me just uh, let me just try to write the SQL query and we will uh, we will try to understand while writing the SQL query. So what we will be doing? We will be doing uh, we will be doing select and then player id cool then we do want event date cool then we can use date diff function and how this date diff functions uh, will be helpful so what this date diff functions will do let's try to understand what is the date diff function uh, we will open one uh, link and we will try to understand so this date diff function in mysql will give you the differences okay so uh, let's suppose this is uh, this is the first date this is the second date if i i will run it uh, then it will give me 10 let me just run it once cool so this was the 25 this was the fifth uh, in the month of june right 25th and 15 june so difference is 10 cool so we need to find the date we need we can use the date diff function date diff and in date diff we'll be we will be passing two columns right the first column will be event date cool and what will be the second column we want to compare from the first minimum date right so we can use minimum of event date right and minimum of what minimum of event date and we need to do the group by or do the partitions right so we will do the over and we will do the partition by on player id so this uh, once we will do the partition by on player id then this minimum event date will give me the uh, the first login of that particular player id right and i can just name this column as date div cool from activity table cool so this uh, table will give me player id day event date date div so so let me just try to make you understand by this example only so here uh, in the whenever i will write, uh, run this particular sql query on this particular table so here the for the first result uh, the uh, date div will come at zero right for the second result uh, the event uh, the date div will be come as one because he or she that player id one has logged in on first march and they uh, he or she has again logged in on second march right so this date div will be coming at one and for the two it will be zero itself because this person has only logged in for, for only once right likewise for the three uh, it will be uh, it will be the for, for this particular row the date dip will be zero 
and it will be some some value right some value it will be it will have some value but it will be uh, near to or uh, it will be the difference between this date and this date right so and we only want those uh, player who actually uh, reported on the consecutive date from their minimum date right and we want their uh, we want their uh, we want to calculate the fraction so let me just run this particular uh, query and show you the result this will not be the my final result we will but we will try to solve it by step uh, by taking some uh, smaller steps so let me just run it i will just try to show you the result uh, i know it's wrong because we have not calculated the final result okay so for uh, this is the uh, sample data and what output i am getting i am getting the uh, for player id 1 an event date is this and I am getting 0 right then for this player id this and for the for second march I am getting date diff at as 1 and likewise uh, you can see that just one minute you can see that for the player id 3 uh, for second march date diff is coming at 0 and for the next uh, for this particular date it is coming it will be coming some value right 853 cool so I am able to get that value so i can use the which statement and i will create one temporary table i can name it activity stats as cool we will create one temporary table temporary table intermediate table whatever you call let me just refactor the code little bit so it will be at least sorry reformat the code little bit it will be uh, much easier to understand then now we want to calculate the fractions right so for the calculating the fraction what we need we need select and uh, we need uh, sorry we need uh, count of distinct player id right let's just reformat it and we will be dividing uh, i can use some uh, sub query and i can do select count distinct player id from activity activity right let me just do this reformat little bit from activity stats and I can do the filtering where date diff is equal to 1 cool and we, we will just uh, I think it required some rounding okay then we will use the round round cool let me just reformat the code little bit comma 2 and we will also give the column name as what are the output columns that we want which is fraction right then we will do the fraction let's try to run it submit cool so it's very easy problem you just need to uh, take smaller smaller steps and then solve the problem so if you are able to solve uh, by some another way some uh, using some different syntax or uh, using sub query and uh, by using some different way just comment the, your answer and we will discuss it there and thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much